is going on YouTube. It is Captain Nether back again, and I am not at my computer. I don't have access at the moment, but um, hopefully we do. Obviously, we have the brand new New Year's banner, and just not only this, we got 6 plus Odin, and then we got 6 plus plus Uta, but let's first go over uh, the banner units for the brand new anniversary, the New Year's celebration, and let's go ahead and start with the rare recruits. We're going to start with the Psy Fighter Free Spirit Sanji special. It is going to be dealing 80 times his attack and non-type damage to one enemy. Reduce bind and attack down by ten or by five turns. Locks the crew slots for one turn. Boost fighter and free spirit attacks by 2.25. And if you have an attack boost already activated, he's going to further increase that attack boost by 0.3 and extend its duration by one turn. Honestly, I like that. It's very good. His support. Okay, we have a decent support. Um, once per quest, if the supporter character uses a special to boost attack, change the supporter character slot to own type and further increase the attack boost by 0.1. I like it. It's a nice little, little interesting effect. Moving on to Zoro, he is going to be a quick slasher free spirit character. He is going to be dealing 60 times his attack and non tight damage to all enemies. Reduce the crew's special charge by one turn. Reduce despair burn by five turns. Boost slasher free spirit slots by 2.25. And if the crew already has a slot effect boost when activated, he's going to further increase the slot boost by 0.3 for one turn and i'm gonna guess his support okay so it's quick slashers and it's gonna be for the yeah for the slots if you already have a slot boost activated he's gonna further increase it by 0.1 pretty good uh i guess okay so that rare recruit luffy i guess is gonna be coming separately or differently um but so we have the first legend we have thunderous right hand nami she is going to be a striker super class unit psi and free spirit so her captain ability she's going to reduce the character's charge time by three turns at the start of the quest so her own charge by three turns reduce crew special charge by one turn at the start of the quest boost psi striker and free spirit attack based on the timing of the previous character's attack so minimum of 5.25, maximum of 5.5, boost their HP while on 1.3, and makes their Psy, Recovery, and Tandem count as beneficial. Greatly boost crew's chance on landing on tandem slots. If the crew is inflicted with paralysis, completely remove paralysis duration and reduce character's charge time by number of turns reduced okay so if you're inflicted with 10 turns of paralysis she will be automatically reducing her own special charge by 10 turns that's pretty cracked um her special this special can charge okay so obviously it's going to be charging it based on the number of paralysis that you reduce she's going to reduce the crew's special charge by one turn reduce all enemies damage reduction except the threshold and resilience by seven turns that's pretty good already. Deals 200 times her attack and non-type damage to all enemies. Applies paralysis to all enemies for 3 turns. Ignoring immunity. And boosts the chain multiplier 1.5. 0.1 for every 5 special charge over the max. Up to 2.5. Okay. For 1 turn she's going to boost the size striker and free spirit base attack by 1250. 250 for every five special charge over the max up to 3,000 for one turn. Um, so she is all about just boosting the damage and just doing a lot. Okay. So far, um, so far I'm on board. So her super class is if you have any of the straw hats and Yamato or when your crew launches for or special four times. She's going to deal 100 times her attack and non-type damage to all enemies, ignoring all defense effects and defense. Reduce all enemies' threshold by 5 turns. Changes character slot, including block to tandem. Boost damage dealt to enemies afflicted by paralysis by 2.25. Okay. That's, that's pretty fucking good. <laughs> and this is only the first unit. 
she also has a tandem. So her tandem at level five at the final battle when two of the following characters are on the crew. I'm guessing. Okay, so it's Straw Hats, Yamato, and Big Mom. Okay. She's going to apply a 2.25 attack boost to Striker and Free Spirit and increase the crew's damage up effects by 0.5. That's okay. Nami's very, very good. Her rumble, um, she her special at max, she's going to target enemies within large range for 1,000 to 3,000 random damage for two turns. Target free spirit class teammates, speed up level 7, defense level 4, both for 15 seconds. Not a big fan of the RNG. Her ability, she's going to be boosting free spirit HP by level 6, recovery level 6, speed up level 6, and int enemies attack down level 5. I like that pretty good uh i want to first go over all the legends before i make an ultimate decision we got the demon robin this ava oh my god this artwork is freaking is is so good all right captain ability reduce special charge by one turn at the start of quest boost quick cerebral free spirit attack by 5.25 and hp by 1.25 if the crew uses a special to boost damage dealt to enemies with a specific status effect, extend that duration of the boost by one turn. Okay, it's very, very specific. So if she uses her special, the character's captain ability is going to be the following for three turns. She's going to boost the attack instead of 5.5 HP by 1.25, so that's the same, and reduce damage taken by 30%. If crew uses a special to boost damage dealt... Okay, she's also going to increase it by a turn as well. The captain ability so far is very desirable. Reduce all enemies' HP. So this is special. Reduce all enemies' HP by 20%. If the captain is a cerebral class, allows crew to stack up to two different damage boosting effects. Cannot stack the damage boost of the same type. So you can't boost two attacking damage buffs i'm guessing for three turns if the captain is a free spirit class allows crew to stack up to two different damage boosting effects okay i don't okay that's interesting you're basically doing the same thing um for either cerebral free spirit if that's your captain which is interesting so if she's the captain are you allowed to stack up to four um that's okay Boost damage dealt to defense down enemies by 2.25 for two turns. Reduce all enemies defense by 80% for one turn. If they have immunity to defense down, immunity to all status effects, or immunity, um, it's going to be two turns otherwise. Okay. The super class. So if you have any of the Straw Hats or Yamato, Sabo, or Koala, she's going to reduce the special charge time of the crew by one turn. Further increase the crew's slot effects by 0.25. Boost quick, cerebral, and free spirit characters' slot effects by 2.5 for one turn. Okay. So. It, I just. Mm, hold on. Uh, so the final tap. Whoops. Final tap at level 5. Any of this. Okay. So at the final battle, when one of the following characters are on the crew. So any of the Straw Hats, including Yamato, Sabo, Koala. She's going to further boost the chain multiplier of 2.25. <sighs> uh, this this Robin is interesting. Um, deep. A sprite is freaking awesome with the art, obviously. So the special at max is... Target enemies within large range for 80% chance of paralysis. RNG again. I don't like that. Defense down level 5. Attack down level 5. HP 20% uh, reduction. Okay. The ability completely maxed is you're going to be boosting quick type teammates. HP level 5. Attack up level 5. Special cooldown. Or special. Yeah. Special CT speed up level 3. And then strength attack enemies level five down so far i think nami is just better this is just a better unit and then we have i'm gonna brag about it because i was right 
we got a versus unit again. I, I'm pretty sure I was the first one to say we were going to get another versus unit. I'm actually really stoked about this. So, we're going to be going over Kaido. He's going to be an int striker, driven character, and then his special boost striker and driven characters a HP by 1.5. Boost their attack by 5.5 when slots match, 5.25 otherwise makes their int and tandem orbs count as beneficial. Recovery slots are going to be changed into Wano slots. He's going to reduce the character's special reverse and special bind by 10 turns. And if the crew uses a special to boost attack, slot effects, or type effects of normal attacks, so attack boost, or boost, color affinity he's going to further increase that by 0.25 and it's stackable with other raising effects that's freaking awesome it's special reduce all beneficial effects placed on the crew and after launching this special crew can only use two more specials okay reduce the crew's special charge time by 20 turns change left column including block to tandem Changes right column, including block, into Wano, and boosts striker and driven slot effects by 3.25 for two turns, and attack by three for two turns. What the F? Dude, this freaking Kaido's nuts. Ooh, all right, versus effect. When the crew uses a total of 10 or, or 10 Wano or tandem slots with normal attacks. Okay, that's actually not that hard it's going to be actually pretty easy to deal with that he's going to be doing 500 times his attack and non-type damage to all enemies at the start or at the end of the turn for two turns and applies increased damage taken at status to all enemies by 1.5 for two turns ignoring immunity along with his special you were doing stupid amounts of damage his final tap at the final battle so that's good He's boosting his base attack by 2,250. Mm, so his final tap is the only aspect of this kit I don't like. Um, but, you know, this is what it is. We're getting two legends in this one particular legend as well. So Yamato is a Dex Free Spirit Striker unit. You're going to be boosting Striker and Free Spirit HP by 1.3. Approximately boost the attack of them by 5.75 when the slots match 5.5 otherwise makes their tandem slots count as beneficial boost crew's chance on landing tandem slots and reduce crew's despair by 10 turns okay so based off the captain effects um you're gonna be doing more i think barely with yamato kaido obviously has the increase with the boosting damage effects but yamato has the bigger multiplier the special changes right column slots into tandem, left column slots into Wano, and boost striker and free spirit attack by three for one turn. If the captain is a striker or free spirit class, boost crew's attack based on the damage reduction effect applied on the crew. If the crew has 80% damage reduction, boost attack by 1.8 for three turns. Okay, so I think because I, I saw this in discord they're talking about that i don't think this is going to be a um it's going to adjust like let's say for one turn you have 70 percent, and you'll probably get a 1.5 um attack boost it's not in the next turn you'll have one point uh 80 percent. it's not i don't think it's going to stack the way it's worded i think you're going to have that um attack boost once you get the damage reduction i i, I just think that's how it's going to work if crew has damage reduction effect based attack boosting effect when special is launched, boost striker and free spirit character slot effects by 2.75 for one turn and reduce damage taken by 80% for one turn. Okay. So once you have the the damage reduction, you're going to be getting the attack boost, you're going to be getting an orb boost, and then you're going to get a further damage reduction. So the versus effect, obviously 10 wano or tandem slots. You're going to reduce damage taken by 60% for two turns. Mix crew tandem slots into uh, have matching slot effects for two turns. You're going to uh, change the attack multiplier of tandem slots to 2.25. Okay. 0.5 when unfavorable, one otherwise for two turns. Okay. Uh, that's, that's good. 
the super tandem is you need all of the straw hats and ace and momonosuke i like that adding a little bit of ace and momonosuke into it is very freaking awesome you're going to be applying a 2.25 attack boost to striker and free spirit and you're going to apply increased damage taken to all enemies by 1.3 so based off of the technically four new legends kaido yamato robin and nami i think kaido is just clearly the best unit um yamato is next i don't think it's close actually i think kaido is head and shoulders above um at least all the new batch legends we still have two additional super evolutions we need to go over um nami i think is probably after yamato i think it's actually close and then robin so now we have gold d roger this freaking giga chad so obviously he's going to keep his type he's going to keep his um color his attack multiplier is going to just bump up just a little bit which is completely fine he just needed a small buff to his attack so it's going to go from a 4.75 i believe to five and then once you use a special it went from a five to a 5.25 I'm totally fine with that. That's good. Um, obviously, he's going to completely remove Despair as well. His special is going to be doing 1.5 million damage to all enemies, ignoring all kinds of defense, normal attack only. It's going to boost the crew's attack for one turn based on the total damage dealt with normal attacks uh, the prior turn. So if you didn't do any, it's going to be a 2.75 3 million is going to be 3 times, and then 10 million or more, it's going to be 3.25. If you already have an attack boost, once the special is activated, he's going to boost the type effects of normal attack for the crew for 2.25 for 3 turns. That's freaking awesome. If he's the captain or the friend captain, he's going to extend the duration of slot or crew slot effects boost by 2 turns when the special is launched. So that's freaking awesome. All you need, really, because you're going to have two Rogers, ideally, is you just need a ore booster, and one Roger is going to boost it. You use the other Roger, and then you're going to get the color affinity as well as increasing the orbs by a stupid amount. So for his super type, um, they just added Gabon. Yeah, they just added for Gabon. So he's going to obviously re he's going to reduce the charge time of the crew by one turn. Obviously change block slots into matching for two turns now. So that's that's freaking awesome. All right. So now we got to jump over to Uta. So obviously Uta is getting a side grade. Um, I think this is side grade. So you need a super evolve your base uta into the demon king uta and then you can super evolve into this brand new uta i think it should be six plus plus and it should be a little extra plus threat there but whatever so she's changing from an int cerebral striker unit to a quick cerebral shooter she's going to still boost uh cerebral as well which is very cool but her speed captain ability now she's going to reduce the charge time of her by three turns um, she's going to boost quick cerebral shooter characters attack by five make their tandem slots count as beneficial reduce the paralysis and special reverse by 10 turns once you use her special her captain effect is going to buff for five turns instead of the five times attack boost it's going to go to 5.4 and then she's going to do everything else that she did initially i'm a big fan of the attack boost um, Uta isn't really a character that you need an HP boost because of how much she already does. Her special, um, it's the exact same as base Uta, except at the very bottom now. She's going to boost the chain multiplier for 1.2 for three turns now. So that is freaking incredible. Her super class ability now, you have to have Luffy. Um, Gordon or any of the available straw or uh, red hair pirate units 
Previously, it was just a orb and attack buff. <coughs> so all you're going to be doing now is the exact same thing before. You're just going to be boosting the attack and orbs of her special. Basically, that's all you want to do. Um, New Year's is going to be absolutely cracked. Um, I'm going to be doing summons actually a couple days later. I'm not going to be able to do it right when the banner comes out, unfortunately. So if you guys have some amazing polls, go ahead and hit me up on Twitter. And uh, I'd be more than happy to see what you guys got. And then obviously when I'm able to do polls, I will post a video. It's going to be all for me. Hope to see you all within the next video.